Hello guys, welcome to this practical course on Statpro software. In the previous video, we have discussed about how to prepare a typical column layout. In this lecture, I will show you how to prepare a STAT model for this G plus 7 flows residential building. Before going to STAT Pro, first of all, let us draw the dimensions for the center line plan. So type DIM command from the keyboard. and press enter select the first point select the second point now we will continue this dimension so to continue this dimension type dimc command and press enter click here then click here and then again click here Similarly, we will dimension this side as well. So again type dim command and press enter. Select the first point. Select the second point. Again continue this dimension. So type dimc command and press enter. We will also need, need this dimension as well. So let's now open STAT Pro. As you can see, I am using the official version of STAT Pro Connect Edition. Let's create the new file. To create the new file, click on the new button from the left hand side. Give the file name as G plus 7 floors residential building. Select the type as analytical and the units will be metric and click on the create button before preparing the geometry first of all we need to check the input units as you can see that the input units currently are in meters however the architectural plan which is given to us is in feet and inches so first let's change the input units to change the input units, click on geometry and click on input units button. Click on custom and select the unit here as feet and click on the apply button. So now as you can see that the units have now have changed into feet. So let's now create the geometry. The first column will be considered at the origin so the coordinates of the first column will be 0 comma 0 comma 0 so type here from the keyboard 0 0 0 as you can see that a node is created over here at the origin now i am not able to select this node in order to select the node you can go to the select option and click on the node cursor button now if you select the node the node will get selected and the selected node is highlighted over here on the right hand side now the node for the second column is at a distance of 13 feet 6 inches we will neglect 1 by 8 of inch so copy the first node at a distance of 13.5 feet 6 inches is equal to 0.5 feet so overall it will be 13.5 feet so select the first node from the with the help of node cursor from the keyboard press ctrl c and then ctrl v in the x direction type 13.5 feet and click on ok as you can see that the second node has been created over here As you can see that the stat is also showing you the global axis. So in this direction it is the x axis, in this direction it is the z axis and in the upward direction it is the y axis. You can change the view by clicking on the view option and click on the top view to, to see the top view of these two nodes.
Now let's create the node for the third column. The node for the third column is at a distance of 10.5 feet from the second column. So select the node of the second column, press Ctrl C and Ctrl V from the keyboard. In the x direction, type 10.5 feet. Similarly, the node for the fourth column is at a distance of 9 feet. So select this node and paste it at a distance of 9 feet. The next node is at a distance of 13.5 feet. So select this node and paste it at a distance of 13.5 feet. The next node will be at a distance of 10.5 feet. So select this node and paste it at a distance of 10.5 feet. So now we have created the node for the first row of columns. Now the second row of column is at a distance of 12 feet 4 and half inches. So let's consider it as 12 feet 6 inches that is equal to 12.5 feet. So select all these nodes like this and paste it at a distance of 12.5 feet in the z direction. The next nodes are at distance of 21 feet. So select these nodes and paste it at a distance of 21 feet in the z direction. Now the two central columns are at a distance of 8 feet 10 and half inches. So let's consider it as 8 feet 12 inches which is nothing but 9 feet. So select these two central nodes and paste it at a distance of 9 feet. Now coming to the last row of columns, it is at a distance of 15 feet 3 inches. So that corresponds to 15.25 feet. So select this row and paste it at a distance of 15.25 feet. So now we have created the nodes for all the columns. So let's now connect these nodes with the help of beams. So select all the nodes like this. Then go to geometry. In the geometry, click on the connect beam option. Click on connect beams along x axis and click on OK. So as you can see that all the nodes that are selected have been connected by beams along the x axis. With all the nodes selected, click on the connect beam option and now this time click on the z axis. So now as you can see that all the nodes have been connected by beams along the z axis. So this, these are the beams at the plinth level. Now as you can see that the depth of the foundation below ground level is 5 feet. So we will copy all these nodes at a distance below 5 feet from the ground level. So select all these nodes. Now this time we will use the translational repeat option. So from the geometry, click on the translational repeat option. In the y direction, we want to move at a distance of minus 5 feet. Since we want to move in the downward direction, so we will have here negative sign that is minus 5 feet. So in the y direction minus 5 feet and click on the link steps option and click on OK. From the view, click on the isometric view option. So now as you can see that all the nodes from the plinth level have been translated at a distance of minus 5 feet in the y direction. So these are the nodes for the foundation and we have used the connect beam option. So what it will do is 
it will translate the nodes at a distance of minus 5 feet and it will also connect these two nodes with the help of beams. So this is how we will create the plinth beams and this is how we will create the nodes for the foundation level. Let us now assign the supports to these foundation joints. So activate the side view, select all these bottom joints like this, click on the isometric view. As you can see that all the joints of the foundation level have been selected. Now click on supports option and click on create button. With the fixed option selected, click on assign. So as you can see that the fixed support has been assigned to all the bottom joints. So guys that is all for this video. You can like, share and subscribe to my channel. So you don't miss any future update for this practical course. See you in the next video.